Hey, what's up, guys? It's Arlen, and I'm here with another video. We're checking out Pew News. Johnny D needs help, so let's check it out. Good evening. I am Don Lemon, and you're watching Pew News, the most trusted news source on the internet. I don't have the mug, I don't have the chair, I don't have the green screen. The first news, I mean, <laughs> the first news comes from Johnny D. <laughs> Johnny D, which I made a video on a few months ago, and he is now suffering from phenomia, pneumonia. I don't really know how it's pronounced. It's pneumonia. It's a lung <laughs> bacteria, I think. I shouldn't even talk about it because I don't know what it is, but it's bad. Okay, it's bad and he needs our help. I tweeted about this and Johnny D's wife made a video explaining the situation. Good evening, everybody. My name is Helen. I am... I know how this feels. I've had pneumonia three times in a row, so... I know how it feels. It's like... It's a bacteria that goes in your lungs and like I've... I haven't had it in a while. Like the last time I had it, I think I was 17. I haven't had it since, but that's because I've been covering myself up in the cold and just taking better care of myself. But um, yeah, I know what pneumonia is. It's 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 crucial. Johnny D's wife. We have been married for almost 11 years. She talks about how Johnny D started the channel from her gifting him a karaoke set that included all the songs talks about how my video really helped out the ch his channel a lot and he was very happy about that but uh, as you probably know he got scammed twice and he never got any of that money which sucks uh, I feel bad for for Johnny and his situation and of course I want to help as much as I can a lot of people said this was fake so they uploaded another video <laughs> Where you can clearly see Johnny is in critical condition. Wolf fans, I think you can taste my, my wife's daughter. For me being the last day, I passed out at home. I couldn't even get to my cell phone and called 911. She heard me screaming. She woke up in the middle of the night and saved my I tweeted uh, the GoFundMe page that they linked to, which is helping covering the, the cost for the medical bills. I want to be able to help as much as I can, obviously. I want to be cautious about the situation. Uh, a lot of people were criticizing me for not sharing this more and stuff like that. I, I just don't want the money to end up in the wrong person's hands, since that technically has happened twice already. It is a lot of money we're talking about here. It's already 5000 dollars being donated and you should definitely help and I want people to help but I also want to be cautious and make sure that at least this amount of money gets to Johnny D make sure it's, it does get covered by his bills before applying more and then risking the chance and me giving this a shout out and, and that yeah he's been scammed again. twice that would just be the worst thing that could happen and I want to try to be somewhat responsible and hope that for that not to happen I want Johnny D to recover as best as possible that's 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 what I want more than anything, but just want to be a bit cautious before sending more people into hell. Nevertheless, I hope Johnny recovers as soon as possible so we can have him back making his amazing karaoke videos. That's all we want. Johnny D, if you're watching, keep hanging in there. The bros got your back, boy. <laughs> I am Don Lemon, and I am not supposed to give my own personal feedback and criticism on the news chat for you news. <laughs> But this get it together, Petey Pot. Get it together. Get it together. Story just makes me angry. How can the media keep attacking Petey Pot? He hasn't even done anything. What is that, you don't have to do anything, Petey Pot. They attack you because they don't like you. Do you not get it? They will attack any YouTuber because they don't like YouTubers. They don't like YouTube. They don't like us. No, nope. I'm starting to think anyone that's not a YouTuber doesn't like us, and then even some YouTubers on the inside don't like other YouTubers. It's really tragic if you think about it. The troubling content of YouTube's biggest star. Childish, offensive, and immensely popular, the YouTube star whose real name is Felix Kajelberg continues to command a huge audience. But what is he really saying? That's not the... That's not the tagline I remember reading. Here's what the original headline said. Childish, 
bigoted and immensely popular the YouTube star. What? You changed it. You changed the tag. <laughs> it's like, can we call him a bigot? Uh, let's just not do that. Maybe we shouldn't call him bigoted because then that it seems like we're just a bunch of kids throwing words and names around. This article, uh, to summarize, it sort of insinuates that me creating a book club is somehow a bad thing. Uh, that uh, people should pay more attention to what I'm doing online because who knows what he's gonna do next next month He might tell them to read Mein Kampf oh, oh, oh. A lot of people on Twitter were really mad about this article And I appreciate people standing up for me, but personally I'm not mad I'm also not ignoring the fact that they uh, they did say some nice things in the article For example here they say that Felix is funny, intelligent, and innovative, and highly charismatic Which of course all of this I am. Dang it, say it right. Innovative. Dang it, PewDiePie. You're, you're getting there. He is. Despite also being called a narcissist, a bigot, and a potential alt-right, I'm not mad, okay? I know it might be... No, nah, but um, no, I'm not making fun of how he talks, because I understand, you know, he's learning another... He's. He, I don't know, I don't think English was even his native language, but he speaks English very well. And I'm trying to learn another language, so I do understand the learning curve. It, pro it probably took him a while, and like, cause I used to watch his old videos, and he had trouble. But now he speaks English really well, you know. Using for some people, I never technically uh, labeled myself towards any political, uh, what's it called, the group or opinion. I, ne I just personally don't see myself aligning perfectly with anyone or anything, and. Really, at the end of it, I don't care. I genuinely just don't care. Uh, I talk a lot about social politics on this channel. I criticize it and I make fun of it a lot because my channel was attacked by it. I don't see this article as an attack on me despite a lot of people uh, thinking that it is and getting a lot of people angry. I see it as a display of fear. I wasn't necessarily upset about it and also I'm kind of used to this sort of treatment by now. I think they know that I have influence. They know it might not be over their generation, but it is influence that is stronger than theirs, at least of the next. And I think there's a there's a definite fear there that they're losing control. I feel like there's a bigger picture. Well, I mean, yeah, there is a bigger picture, in a way. Because uh, using identity politics to kind of try to mold people's mindsets, even with using race and religion. They've been doing this for the past three years like using microaggression tactics and just psychological tactics it's it's so bad like they've been using the whole race thing religion even the whole college thing you know a lot of people are getting mad because you they see all these internet creators or all these internet entrepreneurs uh, making all this money and then they you find out they either dropped out of college or went for two years or they went and then for four years and never used a degree it's just because the money the economy is moving towards technology so in the next 10 years you're going to see automation you're going to see a lot of jobs be taken that otherwise would use a human and it, it's going to be different 10 years from now things are going to be different and i see the bigger picture you know they're trying to control people and if they can keep them in a box i mean how are you going to survive if you're not educated, if you don't know your own knowledge? That's the only way to control people or to get rid of people you don't like, is to take knowledge away from them or take away power. And, you know, the internet gives a lot of people power right now and possibly could set them up in the future. Who knows? But they've been using identity politics for a long time, for the past, let's say, three to five years. It's, they've been using it for half a decade saying race this, religion that, shootings, this and that. Now shootings are real, but it is they always almost always try to connect it to a political motive, which is stupid. Like sometimes people are crazy and they go do crazy stuff for no reason. Sure to discuss here where uh, the media has created a landscape of social politics where they've gone around throwing labels at everything, uh, races bigot, uh, sexist, alt-right, like it's nothing because it's quick, it's effective, and it's powerful, and it's a great way to control people. He may not have called me alt-right in the article, but so desperately wanting to call me alt-right, 
To call him an alt-right agitator would perhaps be unfair, as he has never publicly identified with the proto-fascist movement, but he shares much of their culture and amplitude. What do you, what are you saying fascist? He's never been fascist. What are you talking about? He's just a YouTuber, dude. He's, all he does is make funny jokes online and play video games and laugh at memes. What does laughing at memes and playing video games have to do with alt-right? Like, I don't get that. Where are they getting this from? It's, it is, this is, this is a joke. The media is a joke. This is funny. That, I don't it across the world just because other people don't share the exact same opinions as the media look if you're trying to make PewDiePie look racist or look conservative you're doing a terrible job at it because even if he is you're losing <laughs> I mean that everyone else is an alt-right this landscape of constantly throwing around labels and twisting the meaning of them and changing to fit into this obscure shape it's just nonsensical it's laughable which is why I enjoy criticizing it on this channel, and which is why I enjoy humoring it, because it's so bizarre. Oh, what was said was a joke? Doesn't matter, we can call him this. Oh, what was said was taken out of context? Doesn't matter, we can call him this. Does that mean I completely agree with political groups that are popular online for not agreeing <laughs> with this idea? No, come on media, I don't want to keep fighting with you. Well, what, what do I gotta do? If you actually watch my videos, I think you'd find that it's not that bad, alright? We're just reading books here. Right. And reading books is a good thing, huh? Don't be so bigoted. <laughs> yeah, book club. Come on, man. Y'all tried to get the man over a book club? Y'all are crazy. I can see if he was promoting Nazi books. Dude is reading regular ass books. Okay? Watching anime. Come on, man. Get out of here. So Brad is now going to say the weather. Brad, tell us about the weather. Smug. <laughs> I say the weather sounds pretty smug right now. I forgot the most important news. S is coming out on all consoles. That's right, Nintendo Game Boy, Nintendo Advance, and the Xbox Switch. The Xbox Switch, I'm dead. Check it out guys, S, full version. You definitely don't want to miss this. For more info, link in the description. Have I told you about my chair? Let's just get this last story uh, out of the way. I. I almost don't want to talk about it, but at the same time, then it might seem like I don't care or that I don't think it's important. Uh, as you probably heard, there was a shooter at the YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. A shooter entered with a handgun and shot three people, and then itself. And thank God no one got killed, except the shooter, of course. As, at least that's what I know. I'm not sure what uh, is the situation of, of the victim so far, or the, or the ones that got hurt. I don't want this to be another video where someone talks about the situation but nothing really gets said. I've seen so many of those. I know people mean well, and I know it's hard to discuss these situations, but I think it would be ignorant of me to ignore the fact that... I think it would be ignorant or, or cowardice for me to ignore the fact that the, the shooter did acknowledge that uh, the, the shooter did speak about demonetization and that frustration and it hasn't been confirmed if that was the reason behind the shooting but it's is out there. I saw on the website of the shooter there there was promoting some videos of demonetization rants and saying that uh, their videos were being censored or uh, less views or something like that and thank god None of my videos were there, Jesus Christ. Um, YouTube's, uh, YouTube's had a rough year, man. I, uh, for anyone that was involved in this horrible incident, I'm just so sorry you had to go through something like this. I can't, only ma I can't imagine what that's like. And to everyone that works at YouTube, I, I really sympathize for having to go to work and uh, with at least some bit of fear now. This is awful. The situation, just to put it plain and simply, it's just bad for everyone. And uh, I don't want it to seem like I'm pointing fingers. I don't think this whole uh, this situation is anyone's direct fault, whether it's YouTube or the community. But I think it's important to at least acknowledge the fact that there is a huge division between the creators and, and the website. And There is a huge division, and hopefully YouTube can figure that out in the next couple of years, you know? I think 
there's been a very frustrating year um, for everyone involved where all the changes that came with the apocalypse led to so much confusion and anger and I would never have guessed it would have led to something so horrible and despicable like this but a lot of time with the, these situations what I do is I just go on Twitter when things go wrong with YouTube I just go on Twitter because it's a good way to relieve stress um, or I'll make some sort of YouTube brand and, and discuss it in a humorous way to sort of rant about it because it, it, it relieves that stress and I, I've talked about this before but I, I know from the outside it might be hard to understand because uh, YouTube comes with so many amazing perks it's really like made my life t so much better than I could ever imagine uh, it's given me my dream job and all these things possible but it is so mentally polling sometimes. I sort of forced myself uh, over the years to distance myself from YouTube because it's it's just too stressful otherwise. I feel him on that. Like, um, me doing YouTube, but I've only been doing it, I'll say consistently for about a year and a half, and this will be my second year doing it like consistently every day. I can say that it is mentally tolling on me sometimes because you're constantly in that that mode of oh I gotta get a video out right now like right now I'm filming this video before I go to work and then sometimes there's that mental thing like you don't know if this is gonna work you don't know if your channel will get deleted you don't know if you're gonna get copyright claims you don't know if you're gonna get any revenue you don't know if this video is gonna get any views it's like that mentally tolling thing like you don't know if you're gonna lose subscribers you don't know if you're actually going to gain subscribers you don't know if your channel is just gonna completely die it's just so many things and stress that comes to it but it does give you a lot of perks um, and I'll say it is worth the crazy ride you have to really love doing YouTube to do it a lot of people say I want to do YouTube but they don't understand like once they actually do it themselves and get consistent and do everything themselves it is tough it's tough, man, and people may look at it as, oh, it's a, it's just a job, you upload videos. No, there's so much more that goes into it. Thumbnails, optimization, uh, tags, end screens, like cards, like there's so much. And that's if you want to put in the effort to make sure your videos get seen. It is tough. YouTube is tough. And uh, I've talked to a lot of different creator, creators over the years, and I think most of them admits to at least some point um, have gone through a really tough mental period. It's not always uh, as simple as it may seem and I, I really think most people on YouTube has gone through that at some point whether it's they tough, get to man. admit it's it tough. or not. And uh, I can only imagine that if you have that stress and anger built up over a long time and you're a fucking crazy person then that's what creates this sort of uh, insane scenarios and uh, obviously I don't know if that's necessarily what happened but uh, I'm just speculating here uh, but if that yeah, is that's what a lot of people think it's like all that anger and frustration and confusion and if you're crazy already it could trigger something case I think it's really important that uh, more than ever that we really connect YouTube and the creators more than we have I think uh, YouTube is definitely working on that and uh, I should just keep doing that. And, but I also think we as creators can do a better job at communicating with YouTube as well and not always just rant and talk about it in a stupid way like I've been doing, for example, a lot of times. Um, I have been trying to engage more with YouTube in a more serious way to actually fix a lot of the issues because uh, we, we, it's, it's, a, it's a crisis situation. Uh, and, and I think this shows that. I don't want to see them all like kumbaya, we should all just get together and hold hands kind of moments. But I do think at, at times like this, it's just more important than ever, it's just to come together. That's it. That's all I have to say about it. Uh, it just sucks. Hey, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching Pew News. I am Don Lemon. It's been my pleasure. Hopefully next week won't be so uh, horrible. <laughs> this video will death. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pew by telling the truth, man. Like it's it's important more than ever that all YouTube, even YouTubers as a whole, because a lot of YouTubers been having beef with each other. I'm not saying we should be kumbaya, but just have a um, kind of like a. Just being cool with each other and being able to get along with each other because more than ever, the media is against us. We're tearing ourselves apart from the inside, just being against each other. And then also, 
with things like this, the shootings and demonetization, like in the separation between YouTube and its creator. Like, it's too much going on. This is a moment of cry. It's a crisis situation. It really is. Um, YouTube's in that moment, and it, rather they, they're gonna have to figure out: is, is this their defi defining moment? You know, platform or for video, or is Twitch gonna take over? We don't know. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.